uh, bonsoir, good evening. Uh, before anything, I'd like to say that, you know, our Sonny is now almost an adult. It's incredible. <laughs> Actually, for somebody so young, he's really had an influence on this neighborhood. He's done so much in such a short time. Everybody knows him. He's more famous than either Anthony or myself. Anyone's got a problem, they don't say call Marvin or call Anthony. They say call Sonny. He'll get the job done. And he does get the job done. So I want to thank him for that. And I think he's got a brilliant future ahead of him. And I was just kidding, Sonny. You've been an adult for at least a year or two, all right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. First of all, a couple of our colleagues were here to wish Sonny the best. Uh, Mitch Brown's team, the uh, mayor of Cote St. Luke. Is Mitch, Mitch still in the room? Mitch is still with us. And Kokon Mineru Zaman, the school commissioner for Cote d'Ange, for the Commission Scolaire de Montréal, was with us. I think he had to leave for another event, but thank you, Manier, for having uh, been here. And I want to note a lot of community leaders are here representing a lot of the ethnic groups in our community. One of the things both Anthony and I work on, and which Sonny is a link, is building dialogue, cooperation, and tolerance. We have one of the most multiracial, multicultural areas in Canada that we represent, and I'm proud of the fact everybody gets along really, really well here. And that's our goal as elected officials, is to promote cooperation, and ensure that there's you know, a community response anytime there's an incident that targets any particular group. Tonight's movie is for three different reasons. One, we want to say thank you, it's the middle of winter, tomorrow's Groundhog Day, and we just don't like the idea of another month to six weeks of winter without us all getting together at least to have an evening of fun, and thus, it's a free movie for everybody. That's number one. That's number one. Number two, it was to wish Sonny a happy birthday, all right? Yeah. And number three, we also wanted to remind people that there's a legal contestation of the Quebec electoral map going on. We've finally been heard in court. It took us three years to get heard to say that the map discriminates against urban areas, that there are ridings in Quebec, six of them, that are below the legal minimum of voters. And there are ridings in Quebec that are really at the maximum number of voters. In our part of town, we had three ridings. We now have two. We felt that the process was flawed and we feel that the map needs to be reconsidered. In fact, we thought we have strong legal arguments. We've been heard in court, and you'll know what the results are at the same time we do a couple months from now when the judge issues his decision. But it's been costly, and it's all been financed so far by small donations by people just like you. So there's a box circulating in the room. If you haven't given, you might consider giving a few dollars. No necessity. If you don't feel comfortable with it or you don't have money with you, that's okay too. And finally, because there are really four things to say, not three, tomorrow at one o'clock at 6767 Cotonege, there's a community meeting on police community relations, particularly on random police street checks which disproportionately target minorities. A lot of people in a lot of the ethnic communities are very upset about the recent report that show that Native women are stopped 11 times more frequently than anybody else, people in the black community five times more than the norm, and other communities, people perceived to be Arab or Asian, tend to be picked up by police for what the police department admits is systemic bias. We're trying to solve that, to find solutions, to build a partnership in which every citizen will feel that he or she is treated equally, and that there's no such thing as someone being stopped because of the color of their skin or their ethnicity. So, I ask you to come tomorrow to this meeting, join us for the dialogue, one o'clock, Sunday, February 2nd, 6767, Cote action. And once again, Sonny, happy birthday. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, Anthony Housefather, Member of Parliament. Here, hey, one. I, I always ask to speak after Mervyn so everybody could see how much shorter I am. <laughs> I, I just want to take this opportunity to wish Sonny an incredibly happy birthday. He is a great assistant, a great friend, and you know, despite the number of times he might aggravate us, <laughs> we, know, we, we know deep down that he has a heart of gold. And what a great catch is going to be for some lucky lady. Perhaps, you know, in this room, who knows? I don't want to, I don't want to go all red. Um, in any case, 
Uh, I, I also wanted to echo what Marvin said. The contestation is really important. Um, we here, and again, it shows how gold Sonny's heart is, that he's putting his birthday, his birthday gifts to the issue of helping people. The taking away the Mount Royal riding provincially means that the Filipino community and the Jewish community and many other minority communities are underrepresented in the Quebec legislature. And this contestation is really important to stand up for the rights of minority communities across Montreal. So it really shows where Sonny's heart really is. It's really wonderful. I'm glad to have Sonny's family here and see so many of his friends here. And I wish you an incredibly, incredibly happy birthday. Okay, that was two people I have a tremendous amount of respect for. Um, I just wanted to thank both again Marvin and Anthony. I, I don't think I say it enough, but uh, I'm not here. I don't get to help any in this room. I don't get to meet anybody in this room uh, without Marvin and Anthony. I, I'm a young person and I don't have much when you get involved in politics except for people who allow you to do things on their behalf. And um, I, I can't tell you how much it means to me as a person who had no idea why they were in politics when I first started knocking for doors for Marvin nine years ago. Uh, that eventually I'd be in a room at the Cary Square thanking um, 80 people uh, who honestly I can't thank you enough for having the effect you've all had in my life. And uh, 30 is, <laughs> is a number. Uh, <laughs> at, like Anthony said, um, I couldn't think of a good thing. People started to ask me what I want for my birthday and there was this big thing looming over me that nobody talks about. Nobody talks about the fact that we're losing another provincial riding in an area that needs people to help them with their immigration cases, with their taxes, with just outreach and general connectivity. Having members of parliament, elected officials, city councillors, member of parliaments, members of the National Assembly. I know David would be here if he could tonight, as well as Pierre Arcan. And uh, at the end of the day, sometimes you have to fight the battles that others can't for you. I'm a very realistic person. The PLQ can't do everything for us. And it's difficult sometimes to uh, do what's right. And today, you've come out for a birthday, for a free movie, and I'm going to keep it short and just thank you um, sincerely from deep down in my heart. Uh, I, I enjoy talking to you. That's why I got involved in politics, and I look forward to the next and next and next conversation with each and every one of you. Hey, thank bravo! You so before we finish and see the movie, I think that everybody always wanted to have a movie theater sing them happy birthday. So I think we should all sing Sunny happy birthday. And I'm going to ask Chelsea to come up to lead, the, lead us in happy yes. birthday. Yes. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sunny. Thank you everyone, enjoy the film.